Gemini, and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy, and I am so happy you're here with me today. This is your weekly reading for June 24th to June 30th. So I am going to be concentrating on your incoming energies. We're going to get some tarot cards to clarify. We're going to do some spirit and angel messages. I'm going to tie the whole reading together with the Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I'm going to get your angel number at the end. So this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. And, and if you find that only parts of it resonate, that's great. But some of you may feel that it doesn't resonate at all, and that's okay too. Please also consider checking out your rising and moon sign if you know what they are. Now, I've already meditated and prepared the cards for your reading. So let's get right into it um, by cleansing the space. Now, I'm going to do that by ringing the bell. So you are going to hear a loud bell sound now. Okay, Gemini, let's get right into your energies. Let's find out what they are as we move through June 24th to June 30th. Spirit Angels Guides. For the beautiful sign Gemini, what are the, what are the messages you would like to share? Anything else you'd like to share? There we go. All right, nice energies. Let's go with the bottom of the deck. So these are the energies that we're kind of, you know, we're passing through or that you're, they're, they're still are part of what's happening in your life right now, but they could be things you've just gone through. So it looks as if, you know, again, you were feeling a lot of inspiration. There was a lot of inspiration. Um, you're feeling a lot of inspiration towards your independence and what it is you want. You're working out things for your long-term financial success here with number 42, the woman holding a coin. Again, it's all about your independence. It's all about really, again, um, you're very practical. You're practical with your money. You um, you want to plan for your future and you know, you're going to do what it the means are necessary to really be able to put some of those resources away so that you have more in the long term. And you're feeling as if this plan or strategy that you're making is very successful with this with the number 28 victory you're feeling a sense of accomplishment here now envy number 20 I like to call this more of an inspirational card because I believe that what you've been doing is kind of either looking at situations from a outside you know an outside perspective maybe you've looking at people you're looking at um, you know things that you know, you really are inspired to bring into your own light and to bring in, into your own life. And I believe this inspiration is which is really helping you to plan for your long term, um, your long term goals in future here. But you're feeling a sense of great success here. Now, your energies that are moving into for the week, number 44, woman holding a coin, lovely, powerful number with number 44. I believe this can be your energy, Gemini. Um, even though heart would be more of a cup uh, in, in tarot cards, which would be your watery sign. So Pisces, Scorpio, uh, or Cancer. Now we are moving into Cancer season as well. Actually, we are in Cancer season. Um, so that could have a lot to do with things as well because we are feeling more grounded with our home. We're feeling more, um, a lot of more of our emotions are coming to the forefront. So I believe that woman holding a cart, heart, again, no gender with any of the cards, I believe is your energy here and I believe there's some healing that's been going on here number 51 healer of the ages so there could be something maybe an emotional situation that you've really been you know really been working towards that healing process if you've been feeling a little under the weather or you haven't been feeling really great I think that that's all starting to heal now and I think you're starting to really feel um, you know you really feel starting to feel a little bit more on top of of your game here number 43 man holding a coin again this could be your energy no gender but for some of you too, it could be a partnership here. So we've got the woman holding a heart. We've got the man holding a coin. Again, no gender. And then we got the healer in the middle. So there could be some healing energies going on with a partnership, um, a love partnership. It could be a friendship. It could be siblings. It could be children. Um, it could be people you work with. Again, like this could be you and a, somebody that you work with. But anyway, there's some healing definitely going on here. So it's, it's going to be... Um, I think it's going to be a, a week that's based on a lot of accomplishment and victory. So now that being said, let's get right into your uh, tarot cards. Let's find out with number 44, woman holding a heart. Let's find out what is the energy behind this woman holding a heart. All right. 
Nine of Swords. So there's been a little bit of worry. It's like you haven't really been sleeping. You haven't really been resting. You haven't been getting the rest that you need because there's been this sort of unnecessary worry. Um, when you look at this illustration, of course, you can see that this woman is floating up uh up above her bed, her mattress, and there's all these swords that are, of course, poking through the mattress to show, you know, maybe your dreams are really intense right now. There's a lot of thought process going on at nighttime, which is not allowing you to shut things off. And what this is doing is it's causing the unnecessary worry because these swords are not actually touching you. We always tend to at nighttime, it's like when our deepest fears come into play, and that's why we don't, you know, we, we don't always get a good sleep. And at nighttime is not when you're going to be able to solve these problems anywhere anyway. So it, 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 you know, it really is that quote unquote unnecessary worry. I think it's something that you can release yourself from. And I think that comes with healing. So I think it's affecting you emotionally because you're not getting the sleep that you want. Now, number six, the six of cups, this is all about somebody from your past, or it's, it's bringing out that inner child. It's thinking about, um, you know, the past where things, you know, maybe things were really happy and things were really jovial and, and great. And it could even be somebody from your past that's re-entering here. And maybe it's causing a little bit of worry. Um, let's get one more card on that, just so that we can get a little bit more clarification. With the Nine of Swords and that Six of Cups, why do we have these two? Oh, and there's Six of Wands. Wow, look at all the sixes coming up for you. Um, there's a victory here. So I believe that something from your past could be coming back uh, this week, even if it's just a memory from your past and that it's been causing you a sense of worry, but you're going to feel us, but you're going to feel a sense of victory from it. And again, remember victory is the base of everything in your reading here. So I have a feeling that that could be what's happening there and it is affecting you emotionally. So something from your past is going to come up this week. It's going to cause a little bit of unnecessary worry, but you're going to figure out how to deal with it and you're going to feel a sense of victory from it. A lot, of, a lot of healing is coming into play. So let's get right into the healing. Now, when you look at the number 51, five plus one is six. So in numerology, that is also a number six. So already you have three sixes here. All right, so let's see. Healer of the ages. Let's find out. All right, let's find out here. Oh, you, and another six. My goodness, Gemini. Unbelievable. All right. Six of Swords. So you are moving away from any difficulties, any obstacles, any challenges. You're moving away from the darkness and you're moving into the light. You're going to release yourself from that um, worry, whatever that worry that was happening. And again, it could have something to do with something that has come up from the past, whether it's a situation or a person or a memory or something that was causing you a little bit of emotional it was causing you to be a little emotional. So your emotions were starting to kick in and you didn't exactly know how you were going to get through it, but you are going to get through it with success. You're choosing to move in a completely different direction because you no longer want to allow that to, you know, really affect you in any way. You're protecting your emotions by allowing yourself to move in a new direction. The healer of the ages is what's helping because that healing energy is coming into play to really help you with that. Now, the nine of pentacles, this is a beautiful card. This is really working towards your sect success independently and it has a lot to do with this woman holding a coin you look at the woman holding a coin and you look at that number four plus two number six so you got another six here as well both of these are earth signs so virgo capricorn or taurus now gemini you are an air sign but that doesn't mean that you are not this energy i think you're very grounded with your energy this week and i believe that this is really you're really producing a lot of um um, you're, you're, you're getting a lot of insight. Look, you're reading, you're getting a lot of knowledge here because you want to aspire to something that's going to bring you that sense of independent wealth. You're working towards your financial go goals in a very disciplined way because you want to make that plan that's going to produce you with, with, with the money and the resources to give you the things that you want in life. And you know, you're allowing healing processes to take, to take place here and you are moving in a new direction that's going to bring you and it's, it's really going to set you free. You're going to feel a sense of freedom. Now this man holding a coin again could be your energy or it could be somebody in your life. Let's find out. All right. Anything else? Now for some of you, you could be, um, Okay, let's see here. This, this is definitely very much a Gemini card, the Eight of Swords. 
it, it even represents represents Gemini so I'm actually going to read it first um, with the energy of the man holding a coin again this is working for your long this this is you really thinking about long term your long term of prosperity your long term income uh, the plans and the things that you need as you move forward to bring all of that success into your life you are feeling a little bit tied down right now and it's interesting because you have two cards here where you're holding on tightly to something now, one is a four of pentacles and the other one is the eight of swords. The eight of swords is all the mental suit. It's all what you are thinking in your head. You're not actually bound in any way and the swords are not touching you in any way, just as they aren't touching you with that nine of swords. But for some reason, you're seeing yourself as somewhat tied up and you need to figure out what it is you need to do to release yourself from that because again, this is not actually happening to you. It's just your thought process. And I believe that, you know, you... Um, I think you have the I think you have the ability to really create a very independent success for yourself, but I think that you're holding on to something so tightly and it's not allowing you to feel free. Four of Pentacles again is holding on tightly so much to something that it's not again allowing you to really explore or adventure into something new. And and sometimes that's just that fear of the unknown. It's the fear of not really, you know, knowing what the outcome is going to be, but you can't don't hold yourself back from opportunities because you're afraid because you know you really are ready to embark on a new journey here and you really want to create this sense of independence but the only way you're going to do that is by um, allowing your mind to be set free and allow yourself to um, you know unleash those unleash unleash the chains unleash the rope that's holding loosely around your wrists because again it's something that's more in your mind than it is actually happening now the three of pentacles looks to me like there is an opportunity for you to be working in some sort of of a group atmosphere and this could be you know it's interesting because what i'm seeing here is you wanting to be independent um, and, and, and you really want to unleash yourself from something that is in more of a team atmosphere. And I believe that, you know, you're holding on tightly to something because, because there's a part of you that's a little bit fearful. The Three of Pentacles is people that want to work in unison with you. They are trying to create, um, they could be working at, like as an apprenticeship, an apprentice. Now that could be you. Um, but it's all to work towards a sense of stability because you look, um, you can look uh, at the tree here and it's a tree that's bearing fruit, which means it's going to be very lucrative. This is something that's really going to pay off for you. You have to not be afraid of taking that little bit of a risk. You have to not be afraid of re unleashing something and releasing yourself from something you've been holding on to tightly. Uh, I believe, again, you have co-creators here. You have people that want to work in unison with you to really help you along this path. And I think that you have to really outsource and look for people that are like-minded that are going to help you to achieve your goals. Because again, it could be somebody at work that maybe you need to partner with or maybe you need to confide in because that person can really help you as you want to move up. So I believe, again, there is like a third party person or three people that are involved here. And it's again, you know, you just have to release a little bit of that um, insecurity that you have Put your trust into something because it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. All right, so let's get your angel message. Let's find out what your angel message is, Gemini. We've got some beautiful energies here. A lot of success is coming your way this week. Again, a lot of achievement, a lot of victory. But you've got to release something. And then number 23, pray, pray from the heart. So prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So I believe that the miracles can come into play for you here, but you just have to, again, you have to release that. Um, you have to release yourself um, from feeling or seeing yourself um, in, in this negative light. You have to bring positivity into your mind and you really have to work with others in a harmonious way because sometimes other people are what can help bring you that success as well. Trust in your spiritual team because your spiritual, guide, guide, uh, your spiritual guides are there to also help you. So let's get your secondary angel message. Let's find out what that is. All right, and you got Jophiel Pink, number five compassion, self-care, simplification, and beauty. And a lot of that comes down to seeing yourself. See yourself with more compassion. 
see and give yourself some more self-care. Pay attention to your, your heart. Pay attention to your sleep patterns and, and really allow that healing process to take place. Um, simplify your life as, as best that you can. And if that means you know, um, engaging in conversations with new people, people that, you know, again, um, you feel can help you build your success, open up the doors to new communications and new connections. There is beauty all around you. All right, so let's tie your reading together. We're going to do that with the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So let's get, if we can get three cards, that would be great to kind of tie all this together. Excellent. So the Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. So there is so much to accomplish. And that comes down to that victory card and that six of wands. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind. Yes, you are. Remember that. Pray, pray from the heart and know that Jophiel is there to help with compassion as well. So there is people, there is your spiritual team is there over, is watching over you. Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. This could be a week where you are feeling a lot more of that. There's new beginnings and a lot more abundance coming into play. You can see the fish, they're just jumping right out of the water. The water is very tranquil. And you know what? This angel Raphael is letting you know that there is so much positive movement forward and there's so much abundance coming into play for you. And then you've got the three of Michael. So it says you need to release the past. And we know that from the very beginning here where we had the woman holding a heart that nine of swords and the six of cups because that's something from your past. So you need to release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. Beautiful energies. All right, to close out your reading, let's get your angel number and find out the meaning behind it. Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Gemini. And you got 0909, hope. Your angels assure you that the light is at the end of the tunnel and everything will work out for you the best. The, the best. What you are going through will bring you closer to your purpose. Let go of your worries and concerns. Surrender your need for control. Trust the process every step of the way. So any combinations of 0909, of course, are going to be your angel numbers, as well as number six, because you did have a lot of sixes and you did have some nines as well. So those are very, very powerful numbers as we move through that final week of June. Thank you, Gemini, for joining me today. I hope that you find parts of this message resonate with you. And if so, please leave comments because I do love to read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next week, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.